Well, good morning, everybody. I'm back out at it again today. I'm gonna be hunting a couple of baseball fields today. They were both built, I don't know, probably in the late 50s. Well, I'm gonna get started on this one right here. A little cloudy and windy this morning, but a whole lot better than hot and sunny. Well, I'm gonna get started, and I'll get back to you on the first interesting signal. We got our first good signal. An 86. Gonna be a little deeper. There it is. Mr. Grubworm, put him back in there. Got a quarter to start out with this morning. Can't see no date right now. Let's keep going. Well, here's my second good signal. You can see there's the dugout where I started. 8384. I really like that one. Ground still dry. Oh, and that's why I like it. It always sounds like a ring, but <laughs> a dead gum piece of conduit. Let's keep going. Here's the next one. Sounds kind of interesting. Seventy-six to seventy-eight. Let's see what we got this time. <laughs> I think we got one already. I mashed up them, but I think we got one. It looks like it's made out of crosses. Sweet. Already got one this morning. I'm going to say it's probably silver, but try to get it straightened up a little bit better. But it's shining up real nice. There we go. Got a ring already. Let's see what else we can find. Here's the next one. 63 to 65. Let's see what that is. I just can't pass up a 60 signal, but you get a lot of junk in it. But there's some good stuff in it too. I didn't think it was that deep. Big pull tab. Gotta dig them. Let's see if I can get lucky and call a nickel signal this morning. 51 to 53. There's 
sounded like a nickel. Ah, look of there. It was a nickel. Better than a pull tab. Keep going. Well, I got a pretty good sounding one under these bleachers. Eighty-seven, eighty-eight. Sounds like it's going to be junk, and it is. What else is around here? Well, that one here coming in at a 73.74. Thinking just an old zinc penny, but not a zinc penny. be. I've been out of shape earring. I'm going to try to straighten that one up too. See what it says. Anyway, it's got an earring. See what else is out here. Now here's an odd one. I had an 86, 87 thinking just a quarter. Nothing in the hole. And I picked that up. That's a plastic cap. And then that fell out of the plastic cap. <laughs> Somehow that quarter got stuck in that cap. <laughs> Pretty cool. On to the next. Well I had one here coming in at a solid 75. Gonna be some kind of little button. It's got a cross on it too. That might be a button. That may be a concho of some sort. That's pretty cool. See what else we can find? Well, I'm over working around the old batting cage, finding a little clad, and I got one here that sounds kind of interesting. It's jumping 82 to 84. If I can block some of that wind, maybe I won't get too much wind noise. Yeah, I see something down there. Check that out. Check that out. <laughs> Sweet. Got another one. Oh, snaggle tooth. Missing the stone. Well, ain't that one pretty? Yeah, we got a hallmark right there. 925. Definitely a silver one. I'll look for that stone, but I never have much luck at finding the stones once they come out of the ring. Over here, I got the ring. That's the main thing. Awesome. What else is around here? Well, I had another one here coming in like a quarter. I got that. Sure, what that is. Got some bling on it. Looks like it's made out of copper. Huh. 
not sure. That part's plastic. Huh. Anyways, that's what it was. On to the next. Got another one here coming in at 75. Oh, a little piece of bling. Well, that's one of them half of hearts. You give the other half to one of your friends, I guess. That's pretty cool. Little piece of bling. Here's one that sounds a little interesting. A solid 82. It'd just be a penny. We'll see. Ringing a little high, but sometimes them copper pennies will get that high. And that's why. Cause it's a little coin spill. A nickel and a quarter. <laughs> That's cool. Let's see what else I can find. Well I had one here coming in in the 80. And I got a weedy. Bet it's a 50 something model. Huh, 1944. That's cool. Too bad it couldn't have been a copper 43, but I'll take a 44. See if there's anything else. Well, I had one here. It took a little bit to find. It's coming in at 68 to 70. You can see it there. Didn't think much about it. Just the back to a pin. But right there, it says 925. There's a silver back to a pin. Now if I can only find the pin it was holding on, that would be cool. A little piece of silver. On to the next. Well, I'm over here working out of bathrooms. You got one here that's 86. And I think I'm going to make this my last target. Had a pretty good day. There lays another quarter. Nineteen eighty-eight, I believe. I will see y'all at the wrap-up. Hey everybody, I'm going to wrap-up for today's hunt. I went up to a couple of old baseball fields today. They were built in the late 50s. I actually hunted on, out on one of them. Then I hunted around the batting cages and the parking lot, stuff around the bathrooms and stuff. And this is what I found. You can see all the oddities up there in the trash. A tube of something, a couple of bolt looking things. And I don't know what those things are. I found probably a half a dozen of them. They're made out of solid copper, but I really don't know what they go to. If anybody knows what that's for, let me know. Part of a dog leash and that piece of conduit. A couple of copper pieces. And this strange piece here, that's a piece of copper, as you can see. Been run over by the lawnmower and everything else. I don't know how many times, but <laughs> it's a big old chunk of copper. Anyways, for the bling section today, I got this here. I'm really not sure what it is either. And I guess it's been out there real long because that feels like some kind of material on the front. That's plastic on the back, and in the middle it's copper. I really don't know what that is. And I got a little, I think this is a conch, not a button. About to come all to pieces and got a cross on it. There's that little piece of that heart. You, get, you keep half, give one of your friends half. It's just bling. Then for the clad today, I got four dollars and quarters, uh, eleven nickels, a dollar thirty in dimes, and of course, always my stack of pennies. And then this here, the back to a pen. Didn't think much about it, but I was cleaning it up, and on the back, if I never get it turned around here, you can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but. I got a picture of it. It's marked 925. It's the back to a silver back to a pen. 
Wish I could have found the pin. Never did though. There's a little earring. Tried to straighten it up and broke the post off of it. That's why I hate trying to straighten this stuff up. But it is marked 925 down in there. So I got me another little silver earring. And I got me two rings today. This one here, you can see it's made out of crosses. I'm not going to try to straighten it up till I get home and get it to my arbor and my rubber hammer. I don't want to break it. But it is marked sterling. Like I said, that's crosses all the way around. Put a cool little old ring once I get it straightened up, cleaned up. And that's number 424. And then number 425. No snaggletooth one here. Lost one of the stones out of it. But it's a big old pretty silver one. And you can see down in there it says 925. Got some pretty little red stones in it. Anyways, all in all, a really good hunt up here today. Had a lot of fun. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below the video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next.